Hey man, what's good to the YouTube family? Shout out to all the Colorado fans out there, the Boulder families. We gotta talk about today's video, man. We're gonna bring up Matt Rule. Since everybody makes excuses for this guy, everybody has all these things they're contemplating towards Deion Sanders. Let's get into the facts of things. There are two different ways people view Deion Sanders and Matt Rule versus one another. Depending on the criticisms that you get to see, you're going to agree with me, but I know you're going to make excuses to the ones who don't agree with me, but it is what it is. It doesn't mean everybody who disagree with me is full of BS or whatever, but let's continue on. When you look at the totem scales of things and you look at Coach Prime, you look at Matt Rule, you would think that Matt Rule is the new coach the way he's been given passes, and you would think Deion Sanders was coaching in a power five for the last 18 to 20 something years. What do I mean by that? Matt Rule never receives any type of real criticism that's warranted for a coach of his so-called stature, for a coach who has been in the college spectrum for how much years now? And he had an abysmal year with Nebraska. This is Nebraska, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful history Nebraska has had. But in the last 10 years or more, we've seen how things can crumble in the cookie bin. But yet he doesn't get ridiculed. He doesn't get called out. Is this man, Coach Matt Rule, perfect? You guys know what we do here, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to the Smoke Gang family. Let me call my daughter. Give me my, come give me my um tape, babe. To the Smoke Gang family, you know what we do here. We only bring receipts here, even if it's on paper, even if the receipts is on computer docu docu uh, documents, but it's actual evidence that I welcome a lawsuit if these people we talk about bring on about the lawsuits. Thank you to my daughter. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about my YouTube channel? I'm about to expose a Mayo coach. You think I'm wrong or right? right? I'm right? What is a Mayo person? No, don't say it. If you know what a Mayo person is, don't say it. Because of your age, these Karens... You're teaching your daughter what Mario is? I'm, and say, hold the sandwich. Oh, uh, you nervous. These Don't worry. They, they don't wear white hoods no more. They hide with fake smiles now. But anyways, yes, I teach my kids about the stability of this society and what it really is. That way, my kids are not the group of people losing their minds because somebody told them the N-word. So now we're supposed to fight everybody who says the N-word? No. We have this right here. And speaking of us having this right here, this man, Matt Rule, I remember in 2023 when one of his players got arrested for burglary. We all know this tied in by the name. I, I think it was uh, Mr. Uh, Gilbert, um, Art, Art Gilbert. Remember, he was like the number one ranked player. He went to so much teams he transferred to, I think from LSU to Georgia. And I think before Georgia, it wasn't... Um, it wasn't Nebraska, but the hell with Gilbert. He 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 disrespected, in my mind, Coach Prime, and he should have went to Coach Prime, but he goes all the way there to Lincoln, Nebraska, what he gets himself into. But anyways, even if it's, you guys are going to tell me it's not Matt Rule's responsibility, but that's crap. You guys are the same people who are, who are saying Dion has in, lack of institutional control because an old gambling grainy video that doesn't really show anything much, which all college players are doing this, but yet that's what you guys tried to use to say lack of institutional co control. Then the media tried to blame Dion for one of the former Colorado players who I guess Dion kept him and recruited him or whatever, but this guy was really by the old uh, staff of Colorado. He had a horrible history of allegations with him and women. I'm not even trying to defend him. You know what I mean? But the fact that the media tried to ostracize Dion as if it was his fault when he had nothing to do with the, uh, the schismatics of things. And he got rid of that player quicker than what Matt Rule suspended. Uh, um, Art Gilbert, Dilbert, uh, um, D Dion didn't suspend one of that players or whatever. He got rid of the dude. But yeah, where was the, the situation being spoken for Dion? Matt Rule has more things of that. He had this situation with the Green Bay, uh, um, I said the Green Bay Packs, I mean with the Carolina Panthers when he was like suing them for the arbitration and yet he was called this clean cut dude or whatever, but he was showing himself to only go after the money. We've heard Paul Finnebaum, Finnebaum, however to say this clown's name. It's the circus, ladies and gentlemen. Don't get me to pronounce names correct. Lee at the circus. But 
to hear him say that's Hollywood theatrics and Dion is about the money or whatnot, then who is Matt Rule? He's getting paid by two different teams right now, but he's not about the money. The Dabble Sweeney's of the world is not about the money. The Nick Saban's of the world is not about the money. You know, the Nick Saban that left LSU, went to Miami, failed over there, but he didn't even get fired. He left Miami too and ran to Alabama, but that doesn't get talked about, right? It's just towards Dion. We, 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 we're going to keep going. Then Matt Rule, the since we're on this topic of the leaving situations, the opportunist situation that gets dwelled upon Dion, he's an opportunist. He's running for greater and greener grass. As if this is, isn't a, the whole skitch America preaches in every spectrum of education level that we're being taught in. America is a capitalist society. Almost everybody I've seen that doesn't look like me, who look like the male community, have always been an opportunist. Like, but that doesn't get called out. We've seen Matt Rule leave Temple, lie to them, and go for better green pastures all the way at Baylor. We've seen him did the same thing to Baylor after he snapped at reporters. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. And next thing you know, he's wearing the, the, the baby blue and the silver and the white over there at Carolina. The media didn't say anything like these nasty things they're saying about Prime. Prime lied to the players. Prime lied to the kids. They kept throwing that at us that Prime disrespected Jay. ASU. But how come the media doesn't do this for other Mayo coaches who leave their institutions for a better institution? They hype it up and actually applaud it. Dion gets to get uh, dissected into this opportunist who's this evil entity. Like, it's weird how they always flip us around with evil entities. Now, let's not forget the great coach that he's supposed to beat, Matt Rule. You got to Nebraska and you failed. You failed horribly, bro. The fans wanted you gone. Can we go? Don't let me bring out the receipts, bro. I am going to do it. I'm going to tell you what's the what's the situation with the cat being out the bag. I'm doing a documentary on Matt Rule and many other Mayo coaches. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. We've did some already. Rave reviews by you guys, the community, and I love it. But we're going to do one on Matt Rule. How all you fans of Nebraska wanted him out of here because you were so hurt that he lost but not lost he lost to a brother by the name of Deion sanders i know everything you got i have the receipts i haven't put it out yet i will don't worry i've been a man of my word when it came to this bro not only that we're not done yet let's talk about not just him as an overpaid coach because you guys said that colorado overpaid for Dion, but Dion has made that money back for colorado probably let's just be this is not sugarcoating it probably 80 to 100 times over, he's made that money back for Colorado. The intention, the, the fame, the notoriety. Let's just be honest. Let's fast forward. I'm not done. Let's get to the dirty secrets of Coach Matt Rule. We know when he went to Baylor, Baylor had consistent scandals since the death of their basketball players. Remember that scandal? Scandals of them having men who can't keep them ha their hands to themselves, including staff members, when it came to pretty women at Baylor. We know the scandals from 2010 to 2014 that got swept under the rug, and the savior was supposed to be no other than Matt Rule. And then what happened in 2018? Another sexual scandal. This is right after in 2017, he said Baylor, the, he defended Baylor in the allegations about the 2014 and I mean, 2010 to 2014 sexual misconducts and sexual assaults. He wasn't there at that time, granted, but yet whose face is on the media defending that year of Baylor? And he wasn't even there. This man could care less about females and women because how on earth can you defend sexual allegations from 2004, um, 10 to 2014? at Baylor, you wasn't even part of that institution. And it proved that you support that behavior because in 2018, we found out more sexual allegations happened around your time. Where was the media to air this out? Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming for all of them. You hear me? We're, we're, we're coming for all of them. We got to put the hoodies up. I've seen enough of the crap by the media. The hoodies up, ladies and gentlemen, since the Mayo Nation is so afraid of hoodies, 
hoodies up all week for them, man. Because DJ Bless One is coming with nothing but educational purpose smoke. And I don't care if I speak in a Negro dialect while, while at the same time cold flipping or cold switching. Nigga, this how I talk, nigga. This how I give it to you, whether I articulate it or I flat out just give it to you raw and uncut. It's cooked like back in the 80s. And we ain't talking about no Colombiana. But shout out to my... Bonitas, man. Don't make no sense. I know I'm not making sense. Just like your favoritism towards all these other coaches when you want to go against Deion Sanders. It don't make goddamn sense. Ladies and gentlemen, love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed.